we have discussed the two formula S is equals to R bracket 1 plus I to the power of N minus 1 over I and A is equals to R bracket 1 minus 1 plus I to the power of negative N over I where we solve for S and A Okay, now we shall discuss how to find the periodic payment which is R We need to make R as a subject to find the periodic payment By transferring the I to the left, it becomes SI is equal to R 1 plus I to the power of N minus 1 Just remain R on the right side and we need to transfer the bracket to the left side it becomes SI divided by 1 plus I to the power of N minus 1 as we did just now we need to transfer I to the left it becomes AI equal to R 1 minus 1 plus I to the power of negative N and we remain R on the right side it become AI over 1 minus 1 plus I to the power of negative N R is equals to SI over 1 plus I to the power of N minus 1 and also R is equals to AI over 1 minus 1 plus I to the power of negative N we can use both formula to find R but it depends on the questions given R can be a withdrawals, amount of deposits and also a payment Now let's look at the questions for a second Do you think which formula we should use? Okay. Refer question number 1 Nadia intends to get married in 8 years time when we draw a timeline, so the duration is 8 years. She estimates that the cost of the wedding will be 20,000 then. She intends to save this amount by making equal monthly deposit at the end of each month in a bank. So, Nadia ha has to deposit every month up to eight years to get 20,000 at the end of eight years okay this 20,000 will be the value of S or future value that's why we use R is equals to S I over 1 plus I power of N minus 1 in order to find the monthly deposit now we look at question number two a house costing 120,000 cash is purchased by making a down payment of 40,000 ringgit and the balance is to be settled by making 120 monthly payments okay the duration is 420 payments In order to buy the house, we need to make a loan. As we know, the loan is a present value of the annuity. So, loan is a balance and R is the monthly payment. That's why we use R is equals to AI over 1 minus 1 plus I to the power of negative N to find the monthly payment okay let's solve the problems together Nadia want to get married in 8 years time uh, she intends to have 20,000 ringgit in, he, in, in her account at the end of 8 years okay so as we discussed before R is the monthly deposit that Nadia should save monthly. So R is equals to SI over 
1 plus i to the power of n minus 1. Bank offers 5% compounded monthly. Okay, from here i is equals to 0 0.05 over 12 because of monthly. And n is 8 times 12 which is 96 times. N is the number of interest calculated. N is also the number of monthly deposit. By substituting the S is 20,000, I 0 0.05 over 12, divide by 1 plus 0 0.05 over 12, power of 96 minus 1. Okay. Then press your calculator, you will get ringgit Malaysia 169 ringgit and 87 cents. What does it mean? It means that Nadia have to save 169 ringgit and 87 cents in order to get that 20,000 in her account at the end of 8 years to get married. For question number two, as we can see is the cash price of the house is 120,000 ringgit. Okay. And we made a down payment for 40,000. We will get the balance and the balance is the loan is 80,000 ringgit. As we discussed before, balance is the amount of a so a is equals to 80000 ringgit the duration of the loan is for 120 months or payments so we need to find the monthly payment the bank charge 6% compounded monthly by using r is equals to ai over 1 minus 1 plus i to the power of negative n and substitute the value of a 80,000 times 0 0.06 over 12 divide by 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.06 over 12 power of negative 120 press your calculator and you will get rm 888 ringgit and 16 cents. What does it mean? It means that we need to pay 888 ringgit and 16 cents for 120 times to pay the loan. Okay, we already solved the questions and now you know how to choose the correct formula to get the periodic payment, which is R.